cooked, we've boiled, we've toiled, and cooked up a storm in our humble kitchen. Now we invite you on a gastronomical tour of KZN as we encounter the culinary genius of various chefs at our favorite restaurants in the province. So join us on this journey as we traverse our beautiful province right here on, on Love, Love at First Bite. So such, uh, you have kids. And this dessert yeah. we're about to make is an absolute favorite of kids. They love it. Well, kids of all ages, I well, think. Well, uh, I right. think uh, more than kids. I think Sachu loves this dessert here. Yeah. Okay, but well, what's, what's it going to be? I have no idea at all, actually. It's got so, lots of chocolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got some walnuts. Wow, okay. And uh, butter. Butter. And sugar. Sugar. Like it some so far? Eggs. Yes, okay. so it's a chocolate brownie. Okay. So we're Wonderful. going to be doing right. a lovely and a very simple chocolate brownie. And mm. for this, we need some chocolate. That's grated. I grated that. Yes. Okay. Mm. So. We have two medium eggs. I broke that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have some salt. I'm going to use a uh, half a teaspoon of salt. I put it in the bowl. Okay. Uh, we have some caster sugar. Okay. I was mixing that up as for salt. <laughs> <laughs> Baking powder. Yes. We have some chopped walnuts, but mm -hmm. you could use pecan nuts. I just like walnuts. Right. Also, walnuts are better for you. Yes. They resemble the shape of the brain, so they're very good brain food. Okay. And oh. then uh, mm -hmm. we have some cocoa, ordinary unsweetened cocoa powder, right? And then we have some all-purpose flour, cake flour. All right. right. So as, as you can see, we've got a lot of Tupperware for you to take things home if you want to. Right? Yes. No, I actually brought my own Tupperware. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I have measured out here half a cup of butter. So it's going to sizzle a bit, so please just don't mind. All right. All right so there we go. Our butter is sizzling up wow. there. I'm just going to give it a big um, little mix. Well, you preheated the, the pot. I did preheat oh, okay. the pot because I didn't want okay. you to waste your time waiting for this uh, to melt. Isn't oh. it too, too hot now? It, it is too hot, so that's why very quickly right. I am going to put one cup of caster sugar in there, lumps and all. Okay. Right, you can mix <laughs> that up for me. All right. Such that's you. like you, such lumps, lumps and all. Lumps and all, okay. Yeah. Right, <laughs> so just mix, mix, mix. And I am going to put my half a teaspoon of salt in there. Right. So that yeah. was just to stop the butter from burning. But if you give it a lovely good mix, All right. the butter will melt. Oh, very good, very good mixing. I'm mixing well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was originally your job. <laughs> I'm I taking over so. now. <laughs> I'm going to be taking over. Yeah. Well, right. let's see. All right. So yeah, there well we go. Mm. Well done. Okay. That's yes. as simple as it is. All right. And then we move it over here, off the heat. There's our butter and sugar. And I think it's very, very imperative mm. that you know, never ever add your eggs into steaming uh -huh. hot butter because that will just fry them up and we can't afford to do that. I was but actually what waiting I will do, for you to ask me what will happen. So. <laughs> I'm just going to take a, um, half a cup of chopped walnuts. I'm going to drop that in there. So, so you wouldn't wait for this to cool before you add Yes, the because all of this egg. now would absorb all of the heat from the pan, see? Okay. And we also don't mind if the walnuts are getting a bit of a roast. There you go. Okay. okay. So it has a crunchier taste. Especially yes. in the butter, it'd be quite nice. Absolutely. So I'm going to yeah. add the eggs last, all right? So now, Kabeshin, mm -hmm. you're going to put one third of a cup of cocoa into the sieve. And then, we, Sachu, you can sieve this in here. How do you get one third of a cup, Sachu? Um, one third of you a cup. You buy a measuring cup that says one third. Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> we've actually got these things recently. Before it was just, you, you know, measure, guess. Yeah. Yeah. Guess what? Um, no, no, no. Baking is a science. Ooh. You've got to make sure. Yeah. And remember, all of the ingredients coming together are reacting with each other. So it cannot be estimates. But my mother used to bake uh, some well. wonderful things. Yes. And uh, I don't she remember didn't using uh, So let's see what But I think in the old, old measurements, it used to be one cup or half a cup or two cups. I can't remember one third. Well, okay, we used to make so huge I quantities. I see that That's you are, uh, I said one third a cup of cocoa. And uh, uh, you he's did, you putting did. flour. You did. Did. All right, so let's get the cocoa in here, Kabeshin. I'm sorry, doll, I don't listen to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> We've done uh, very well so far, Kabeshin. Yes, 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 it was just one mistake. So as you can see, we are frying this, the nuts absorbing all of the, um, the heat from the pan. Right. We just don't want this, um, the butter to burn, the sugar to just become a caramel here. So we're giving it quite a lovely mix around. So let's there go. we go. All right. all right, and I'm just going to... 
I think it's very important that you do sift the cocoa. Yeah. Sometimes you get some really, yeah. really uh, lumpy bits Nasty of cocoa. Nasty lumps. Now, yeah. everybody that comes here, we ask them how they like our sieves. Our sieves. No, 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 that's amazing. Our um, sifter. Our sieve. Our sieve. So you only have uh, one of these, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and my name's written on okay. it. Okay. Huh? <laughs> All right. So we are uh, asked very often, where do we get the sieve from the show from? And we bought There's this... There's a little um, lump there. When we were in America. Oh, oh yes. Okay. So yeah. I don't think it's going to be too easy to get this. And such a, as you can see, this is just ever so easy. We got the cocoa in there now. B, you're yeah, going to put. I'm just making a mess. Here. Yes, you're going to bring yeah. that back here. We've got half a half a cup of. And the cocoa that's in here is fine. Yes. That's mm -hmm. one third. Okay. They just finish what you were saying. Half a cup of. Yeah. Half a half cup, cup of off. flour. So is that a uh, normal all-purpose flour? All-purpose flour. Okay. You look at this beautiful dark color of the brownie. Mm. All right. And, and what you can hear sizzling in the background yeah. is our main the meal. Lamb. The lamb. Oh, actually, lamb. I, I can get the smell. It's, it's yes. a lovely uh, meat smell that I'm getting right mm -hmm. now. Okay. Sorry, there's just so stuck you at are the going to just beat I'm these eggs up now. All right. All right, there you go, all beat up, absolutely beautiful. You could actually just lop this up, eat this all up. Wow, look at that rich Right, but do you see how easy this was? It no, that, was that just was absolutely, about absolutely easy, you're not putting yeah. the chocolate melting in, no? and mixing. You know, the chocolate is actually put on the top. Oh, okay. okay. All, right. all right. Now, is so, that cold enough and ready for the egg? Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous that it's not. Mm -hmm. So I am, um, and that is what happens when you use a heavy base pan. So I'm going to drop this into because, a little container uh, and yeah. it will cool much easier. Yeah, I okay. think that would be wise to do. Uh, uh, maybe if we both just blow on it, sir. Uh, we can try. <laughs> I don't think you should try. You're a bit too far away. A bit too All tall. right, let's, let's drop this into a lovely uh, cool dish. Okay. I'm going to clear that away for you. That's like my wife. It's a cool dish. Okay. <laughs> you you want to hold uh, it? You want to hold it? A yeah. cool dish. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so nice to see you guys, I mean, together in this show. And uh, it's so much of fun. Love it. First bite. Yeah. You remember mm -hmm. on campus, when, when she first met me, how she used to follow me around? That's a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. Comes lie, I remember. Do you remember? I remember. Oh, my word. Vividly. <laughs> Vividly. All right. So there we go. So remember as well, we yeah. must be mindful that we haven't added the rising agent and we're just going to put a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Baking powder. Wow. You're going to give that okay. a bit of a mix. And really how's that? Is it nice and cool? All right. So there's our nuts, our lovely cocoa, the flour, the baking agent, the salt. And, and I now think we are going to add the eggs. Egg. Yes. Okay. So let's just add it in. All right, let's go. And I'm just going to beat that in before it cooks, Sachu. Uh, it didn't cook. It didn't, <laughs> cook. it didn't cook. All right, All right. So there we go. There's our mixture. Okay. That's in uh, here. And of course, if you want to make it extra decadent, you could even just add some grated chocolate in here. Oh. Okay. All right. So <laughs> the, you want the decadence. You, you could add uh, nuts, other nuts as well, you a variety can. of nuts. Uh, Absolutely. Some raisins, maybe? Um, no, I've maybe not raisins, raisins no. because it's a kind of thing that doesn't, can't be squishy and it's not a... a it's a, a solid kind of dessert. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So there we go. So if you look at this, it's lovely and glossy. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. It's combined so beautifully. So, the sugar's melted. There's butter in there. There's the beautiful walnuts. And yeah. I'm going to ask you just mm. to grease that pan cubation with the butter in okay. the paper. I'm amazed that it's so simple. with my fingers. Right? Absolutely simple. Very in fact, simple. you can uh, make a tray of brownies in less than 15 minutes. Right. Yeah. All right. So we've preheated the oven. You see, we don't use play and cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to 180 yeah. degrees. And we're going to bake this for approximately 20 minutes. And um, then we've got some chocolate melted here. Uh, well, shards of chocolate. I'm just going to melt this. Mm. And when it comes out the oven, I'm going to cover it with the melted chocolate and sprinkle more nuts on it. And there we have most beautiful decadent brownies that you can serve just as they are in as a lunchbox treat or with a little dollop of ice cream. 
Wow. We, we really went wow. old school here today for you, Such We put yeah, I can steamed see that. things in. But, uh, but it's good because... Banana um, leaves. We yeah, it's good. It feels <laughs> right. almost like a coming together of, you know, some traditional cooking yes. and baking yeah. with the with modern. modern. There uh, we go. And I'm just going to drop this in here. I'm going to try this at home. You must. Uh, so I'm I mean, trying that's to remember the idea. The, yeah. So all of our recipes in Love at First Bite yeah. are the kinds of recipes that you can very, very easily make at home. All right. And as you can see, I'm not using a very large dish. This is actually quite little. We want to cut these into little um, bars. But this is going to be scraped out every last so, bit so of it. Once you try this, Satyu, yeah. yes. you just take a picture and, and you post it on the Love at First Bite Facebook page. Okay, yes. yeah, uh, and I think I should see. do that. Yes, uh, with your comments. Okay, since mm. I've, right. uh, I've and been then invited, of course, yeah. Yeah. yes, absolutely. I'm sure Kavita will love this. She oh, I'm sure. Stuff, the, yeah, yeah uh, decadent stuff, and especially with <laughs> chocolate yes, and the chocolate. way you described it. Yes. Wow. And it's certainly, um, you know, and although it's got like chocolate and um, sugar, I think um, the fact that you can camouflage a lot of nuts that are good for the children, and uh, it's a lovely, lovely lunchbox treat. Also, because they're uh, not going to yeah. say no to this. Ice cream will cut out that sweetness as well to a certain yes. degree. Um, you know, in this case, such if you want to reduce the sugar a little bit, mm. you can. But I don't see the point of it because you're still going to smother this with chocolate. Yeah, but, but you see also, I, I, I believe that this has to be a, a once-off thing, you know, not too often. Once a month. And you earn it. Yeah. <laughs> you earn it. So I'm going to so. put this into the oven and uh, mm. 20 Just minutes later. Mmm. <laughs> Imagine I'm not diabetic, <laughs> lucky. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. And that is our chocolate brownie.